probably just coming off off the field there, a little bit of frustration, frustration we get to get that bonus fight. But um, in terms of start, there is pretty pretty decent for us. And on a personal note, you know, I thought you had a, a great game. Obviously, the fans thought you had a gr great game voting you the, the players. Uh, Fans player of the game, uh, got over the white wash, didn't get quite get over the white wash, but got a nice ball and did get over the white wash, didn't you? Yeah. So it was uh, a try, a try, an assist, conversion, penalty, everything. So you had a good personal game yourself. Yeah, it's pleasing. Um, we talked about the, the Welsh derbies and who's a, who's a salad, so who's who's good to play in front of and um, even better playing, playing well and getting the win. And then, um, what about the second half? You mentioned then, you know, what can we do now moving forward that just takes us up that extra notch and then we convert those chances to get a bonus point win and it, when the, you know, the league's going to get tighter and tighter towards the end of the season? Yeah, I think that's probably our season so far. I think the, the team we got here is definitely a 5-10% in um, us easy um, in our performance. Um, I don't know, that's, that's the answer at the moment. Um, I think just being consistent and our error count in our second half is probably too high. We've got to look at that and um, yeah, then, then three, three tries go go to four. And then lastly, most importantly, what's your favourite Domino's pizza? <laughs> uh, Hawaiian. Hawaiian, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> It'll do, we know what a have a pineapple pizza is. Right, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause please. Right on. And, uh, and next, he's a little bit shy. So if I can get a round of applause, he's played his 100th game for the Cardiff Blues today. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Walkerton. Um, we'll be, I, did a, I did a quick interview with um, Danny before the game and he spoke about, you know, Welsh derbies. It's vi vital to have that upfront battle, confrontational. You know, that first 20 minutes looked pretty bruising out there. How was it for you? Yeah, it was extremely tough. We, said, we did say going into the derby, normally... Um, I think nine times out of ten, the team who's most physically dominant in these derby games only wins, and, and that was a focus for us. I think you see that in our team selection with um, you know, particularly Nick Williams back in number eight, Navidi at six. That's what we were going for in the game, and um, it was probably the best start of, a, of the derby we've had. You've got a nearly try, which is great to get some momentum. Second half, someone told me it was just nil nil. I didn't realise that when you're playing, it's got 100 miles an hour. But... I was going to tell you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, disappointed we couldn't get that bonus point. We tried to chase it towards the end of the game, but. There was a point where we had a penalty. Um, we thought it would be better to go for the three points to get that 14 point bounce, and otherwise the Dragons could go get a losing bonus. We didn't want to do that, but it turns out Matthew Morgan missed anyway. But, um, <laughs> so that was the time. We got, yeah, we got a win, which is the main thing, which is the main thing. Really pleased that we got that. Um, what about obviously the win? Is you, you know, if I ask the question, what was your one wish? Obviously the win. But for you on the park, what was sort of the most pleasing thing about the performance? And then, what was probably the one thing that you want to maybe work on looking ahead to Scarlet's away uh, next week? Um, we, last season we were getting a lot more from our drive attack. It's a lot harder to drive now this season with some new rules and incentives coming in. So we tried to get a couple of drives going and they didn't quite go. And um, that's normally a go-to to try and get that bonus point. And we sort of got quite a few more driving line on tries last season. So that's always a work on for us. Um, but I think just trying to get into our attacking shape a bit better in the second half. The first half was great. We saw Steve taken to the line with a lot of threats and it's a nightmare to defend against the second half. He just went away from that a little bit. A little bit of fatigue, a bit of pressure from the Dragons, but we'll address that in the week now. We got the day advantage over the Scarlets. Um, they're playing tomorrow against the Osprey, so we got about five, six days turnaround, and then we got a front at the end. And then what about, uh, you know, a shout out to all these guys. You know, we sold out last night, Christmas night, we sold about 300 tickets, sold the ground out. You know, how much of a difference does that make to you guys? Christmas Derby, Cardiff Arms Park, absolute sellout. You know, does that lift the guys? Yeah, there's a lot of disappointment in, in the squad meeting when we meet on a Tuesday or whatever it was and they announce the team because these derby games are the ones everyone wants to be involved in. You remember what they were like as a player. It was ages um, ago, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they are, I, it, including the European games, for me, they're my favourite games to play in because the Dragons obviously bring down some supporters, they make a bit of noise, it riles up our fans, and the atmosphere is probably one of the best atmospheres you get all season. So. I couldn't wait for, for this match and um, having a sound crowd and having the fans down there, especially as a boy who's grown up just down the road and I absolutely love playing here, so it's brilliant in front of the home crowd. Leave it on that, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Warburton. <laughs>